Hello guys, you joined me in one of the latest and greatest from Marinello from Ferrari, the 812 GTS. This is basically an 812 super fast convertible. Really cool car. Now, unfortunately, we're only able to literally drive it a tiny bit through town because it isn't locked down in Monaco, but we're not allowed um, out of like the general area where we're staying and at 8 p.m. we need to be home. So I can't drive it much, but I figured better to still show you around the car a little bit. So we're gonna stop somewhere and give you a full, full tour of the car, interior and exterior, so that you can really get a feel for, one, the spec, because this car is for sale via Stars Monte Carlo, uh, and two, just a general feel of what I think is one of the coolest Ferraris out there right now, because naturally aspirated V12, which sounds, like that oh, without a roof is just so so cool so we're gonna put up now and let's have a proper look around first of all what a stunner I mean this car when it first came out was pretty controversial actually people weren't quite sure if they like the 812 super fast or not um, but then now the more and more I see them it just works and especially this the GTS without the roof this is the big news this is the new car from ferrari no roof on a front engine v12 now the reason that's big news is because the last time they did this really was with the 599 sa aperta of which they only made 80 i believe and are now trading for a lot of money now they kind of skipped that on the f12 never really made a convertible version and now they've brought it back as a production car basically on the 812 so not a limited edition but very very cool looking this one is in beautiful tdf blue tour de france blue stunning color um really really brings out the shapes of this car and i think it worked really well on the 812 um, now a lot of people weren't too sure about the front end of this car at first i personally really like it now this one has all of this kind of like graphite gray finishing on the front grill and around on different parts of the car um, looks really cool and the more you look at this i mean it you know the purpose of this originally is to be a gt kind of real cruiser but the more you look around you realize how many aerodynamic details there are and johnny who is selling this car has driven a similar one a red one on track and said it was absolutely incredible so whilst it is a big brunter cruiser it's also a serious serious weapon with 800 horsepower so you can see here little aerodynamic details to filter the air through all over the place including right here where air comes out in here out there to push the front tires down and get that massive hood into the ground so that you don't understeer into the decor um but yeah really cool looking front end this one has the black wheels matte black um so matte to go with the gloss looks really nice it's got the standard uh, yellow kind of uh, covers there in the middle and then standard obviously carbon ceramic brakes finished in yellow here um, now this car is around 500,000 euros so standard carbon fiber uh, carbon ceramic brakes do seem a given now you've got these massive brake calipers around back I mean those are big brake calipers on the front um, of most cars but on the rear of this one it's just pretty impressive to see um, now in other news we've got uh, a few little details that I'll show you how the roof system works, but also the rear of this car. I think it looks best. I think this is the angle where this car looks at its best. Um, so you've got more of this kind of finishing round back and then black exhaust tips. That's a really cool option to have. And you notice when you get round here, just how special that rear diffuser is as well. It's massive and it's kind of like a double rear diffuser because it's split right here. So some of the air will come out here and some up there to get even more downforce. It's quite a lot higher than other Ferraris um, just for practicality so that the front end and the rear aren't hitting everywhere. But also because there's so much aerodynamic trickery going on um, underneath the, the car as well. Now, if I get the key out, which is completely covered to protect it so that the car remains brand new, because this is brand spanking new, this car, I can show you the boots, which is pretty impressive. I mean, it's no Maybach, but it's impressive for a car of this type, a car that can do what this car does, um, the speeds this car does. It's just pretty impressive. You've got quite a bit of space right there, and that's with the roof down. 
keeping in mind. So you've got the roof down and you've still got enough to get two nice weekend bags in there. Um, I don't know if it can hold your golf clubs, but probably, they probably thought about that. This is a very golf club-esque kind of car. Um, and yeah, overall just pretty cool looking. So if we hop on inside, all leather. There's something about the Ferrari leather as well. It's so kind of like thick and plush feeling. The quality is ridiculous. And the smell of it as well, it's just so particular. Like you know that it is a Ferrari as soon as you kind of get that smell. Really, really nice finishing. Now this one's got the comfort seats, as you can tell, fully electric comfort seats. Um, which um, you know make a lot of sense for this car if you do some long distance cruising in it. it makes a lot of sense to have these seats you can get the sportier seats but they're not as comfortable and you can't adjust them quite as much let's hop inside now when you close the door you notice it's got memory seats on this one which we didn't see on the pista that we filmed in the last video three-way memory seats so that's very convenient and you can open the boot from here as well and this is where the door handles hid in a way now there's not much storage behind the seats here. They have put a little net just in case, in case you want to put your car papers like we've done right here. Um, but then it is, you know, like in the 812. That's the cool thing about this car. You don't really lose anything looks wise um, compared to the normal 812 or practicality wise. Um, so you've got a perfect little iPhone cubby hole right there with a cigarette light and a USB charger. That is very, very cool to have. Um, you've got your little cup holder and then this gearbox structure um, for the double clutch gearbox reverse auto because the car when you start it up is directly in auto press that and it goes into manual mode and then the launch button now these seats actually they've got the optional extra blue leather stripe down the middle and the blue cavallino stitching on top now once you're here you can put your foot on the brake start the car from this button you get that beautiful sound and then put the roof up so let's kill the volume you push this down and everything goes on there it opens there you can do this up to about 25 miles an hour i believe and two pieces of solid hard top roof come out connect each other to give you basically the exact same feel as if you're in an 812 super fast rather than an 812 gts now i'm actually going to take that straight off again because it's boiling here and we don't want to bake um comes on and off pretty quickly as you can see and allows you to just have a completely different driving experience and have that v12 really howling in your ears um now what else do we have we've got the new systems um for the aircon so this is different compared to the 488 this came in on the 812 and gtc4 luso so new aircon systems work the same way you do your temperature your fan speed and everything it's basically the same just looking a little bit different this is where you control your car lift right here parking sensors now that you can get the optional extra of having a screen right here for your passenger it's called the passenger display screen this one does not have it it does have a glove box press that open button boom nice little cubby there's plenty of space in this car actually even in the doors and then we've got this really really cool new steering wheel where you've got you know new options like having your automatic wipers and different settings your um, indicators are on here and you can now actually press them from behind as well like that was before it's just a button lights bumpy road mode so that um, softens up the suspension or tightens it up depending on what you want and then your manatino and also voice control and this is where you control your phone as well um, so very very cool you still got two screens like on the other ferraris two screens one on each side of your rev counter controlled through these buttons here now it's basically the same thing as you had in 488 or the previous generation ferraris just a little bit newer so the navigation screen has been just modernized a little bit um, but on the right screen you control your speedometer your radio your media all that jazz and on the left screen here you have a digital display of your speed but you can get lots of different things such as your um where is it there we go vehicle dynamics so you can go through see different modes that you're in so controlling your manatino sport race um, and you can just get information on top speed your lap time there's basically through this screen you can get a bunch of different info um, so on your last trip but then you can also do all of your different settings, etc. through here. So pretty cool to see. 
your pit speed as well, which is your speed limiter. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a really, really cool looking car. This one's got everything finished in this kind of aluminum feeling finish, which is nice. It feels really solid. And overall, just what a car. I'm gonna switch it off now, hop outside. I'm glad we're still able to show you some of these cars despite the um, kind of restrictions that we're seeing today in Monaco. Obviously, it is just locked down from 8 p.m. And during the day, we're still allowed out. But, um, you know, obviously can't drive these cars much. So I can just show them to you stationary because we are blocked in here in Monaco. Um, but, uh, yeah, awesome looking car. Huge thank you to Johnny and Stars Monte Carlo for making it available and allowing me to still bring content to you guys despite um, the, the current restrictions. But, yeah, awesome to see. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, guys, if you enjoyed it. All the links to this car, which is for sale, will be down below. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.